Islanders are using all of the concrete out there tonight. Trouble down the front. Danica Patrick. That's unfortunate. Oh, she's done a great job for 434 laps here tonight. Before, how bad is it? It's done. And number 13 is unlucky for Danica Patrick. She was ran to the pitch, please. 19th. Oh, no. Yeah, that's real unfortunate because she did have a, an incredible race going to be on the lead lap at 435 lap. That was a race for position. Stretch wall has been an unfortunate place for Stuart Haas racing yeah. tonight. All three cars hitting. Yeah. Ryan Newman, then Tony Stewart, now Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick, Landon Castle tangled up. Castle going for a slide. Yeah, we did not hit anything. Patrick did not hit anything. Wall. It looked like Danica had a chance of not hitting anything. But just Back up on the track. Well, rule number one of stock car racing is learn how to wreck someone without wrecking yourself. And I saw that. It kind of looked like Castle went into turn one ahead of Patrick, and maybe she thought she could make a move underneath him, and things didn't go like she wanted to, wanted it to. Or maybe there's more to it. This is off turn four. Like gets clear there. And she gets in on the bumper and but just mm. doesn't get off of him. Right, right there where you're talking and yeah. you just turn it left and lock it down. And she had a chance to not go up hit that wall if she just stayed on the brakes and kept it down there. Hmm. It's like she's trying to save it and just kept driving it until it uh, hooked to the right. Yeah, at that point right there is whenever you should just, as a driver, realize that this is a spin, lock it down, and you can come get four tires. And that's uh, the kind of things that she'll have to learn with these cars. So watching that leads me to believe there's something earlier that happened. This dude right here is getting awful brave. Still gonna be down there, you're clear of him. Nice and smooth here. Easy, easy, easy. Just keep it off the wall. This was earlier in the race. Oh, they have a little history. She was complaining about Landon throughout the race, and when this happened, Greg Zipidelli, her crew chief, came on the radio and said, you know better than to do that. So obviously he saw her at fault there. You see her now sitting in the garage trying to repair that 10 car. You know, I've just been really frustrated with the 83. Um, he slammed into me on the front straight for no other reason than his radio communication of she was in the way and uh, I've always played fair but if it's one thing at one time I can imagine frustration but it's been pretty consistent with him getting into me so at some point in time I got to stand up for myself or everybody's gonna do it so uh, the bummer is, is that this was my Texas car that we were having a good run that we were making the car better and I'm out of the race and he's right there in the 88 watch burn. Oh, oh, oh. And she's all right after a hard crash, and the caution flag is out. Somebody's going to come down into her, I think. Almarola. Yeah, right there. He got on the bumper of it. Looked like McMurray's car, the one. Turned him a little bit to the left. Thank God for safer barriers. That was a hard, hard lick. It's almost that car didn't even look like it slowed down as it was going across there. Bottom, bottom, bottom. There you go. Keep digging. 
three wide. Goodness gracious. Let's go on board. Bottom, bottom, bottom. There you go. You take it. Three wide. Is that is that not? Did you see what she did with her hands? Yeah, all that open wheel experience. Indy car, all that open wheel experience. She knew not to hold on to that steering wheel. That is amazing. I saw her do that here in the ARCA race a couple years ago. I mean, if you hold on to the wheel there, you can break a wrist easy.